Hello, good morning. Um, I thought I'd vlog today. I've got a few last little preparations for the wedding holiday. Today is like my final full day off before the wedding. So it's Monday the 7th and we fly, is it the 7th today? I don't know. It's Monday before we go and we fly on Saturday. I do have Friday off but I'm helping my mum in the tattoo shop. So today is my last full day. I need to um, sew up my dress which when I went to Wed to Be to pick out my veil the lady there ripped so angry at her for doing that because I felt like there was something that snagged in the dress but I didn't really question it because I thought she was just pulling me in and she ripped one of the loops on the dress so I've got to sort that but also I bought my veil and when I bought it I opened it when I finally got over the fact that she'd ripped my dress I finally looked at my veil and she'd given me a ripped veil so I might be able to show you a few of those minor details without giving away the dress because obviously Joey may or may not watch this video before the wedding I'm not really sure but I'm just really annoyed with the company itself I just don't feel like they really needed to do that and if they had done that and told me I wouldn't have minded but she knew that I'd altered that dress to be mine and then she obviously just went ahead and ripped it anyway. Um, I had the worst headache ever last night so I didn't get a lot of sleep but I thought today might be an interesting video for you. Ooh, my lips look really dry. So yeah I'm just going to vlog and see how we get on today and then I'll probably, what I'm trying to do is postpone my daily vlogs in Cyprus so that I get a couple of days leeway to edit the vlogs in Cyprus. I'm going to try and do them in the morning whilst Joey's still asleep but I know I've said that before and haven't but I can actually relax on the balcony by the pool from our room if that makes sense so I might just do that outside so he can't hear me editing my videos but we'll see how it goes but I'm really looking forward to it obviously getting married. <laughs> so I have actually already been up for about half an hour, hour. I've had a coffee already but um I need to sort some videos out, but I definitely, definitely 100% need to do that dress today. I'm just going to do some skincare and make myself feel a bit more awake. still have mascara on my face when I haven't worn makeup in like three days it's really beyond me um I have actually filmed an empties video I don't know how soon you'll see that because um I have a lot of other videos in the process already um this is the last of my glow tonic but um I decided that I would film empties videos not really sure the turn in which my channel's taken I really want to edit my Mexico vlog before we go to Cyprus. I think that'd be like fun, but who knows if I actually will get around to it or not. I've got a Birch Box limited edition box going up tonight. I need to edit that. Um, and then I was going to do all of my, like, what I'm taking on my holidays. Um, not clothes, because I'm going to do a look book when I'm out there. But definitely, like, um, hair care, skin care body care and makeup. I still need to film the shop my stash makeup for holiday. Um but yeah, I I don't know, I just had a really bad headache, but I can't not do anything today as much as I just want to sit there and do absolutely nothing. I can't afford to do that. I still I need to pack today needs to be the day where I actually pack the um my wedding dress and that because it's the only dry that Joey isn't going to be here for, so I definitely need to do that now. Well, not now, but today. I want to try and get tonight's video sorted so that's done. It's only like 7 o'clock in the morning. So that should be alright. Um, yeah. 
I, I, I think I briefly mentioned it in one of my um, videos, how I felt a little demotivated because everything I was trying to film on my vid on my channel just kept going wrong. Um, I'm feeling a bit more motivated now. I've got a couple videos up on my channel as we speak. Um, so that's feeling a bit more motivational. I think I have to admit there, I think where I haven't uploaded in a couple of weeks, like because of the wedding planning and stuff. I feel like my subscription has been dropped a little bit, um, which I, I do understand, like I totally get that. Hopefully someone will be able to bring out a crabby advent calendar and I can review that and then get my views back up. I'm joking by the way. Um, I don't, I'm, as I've always mentioned, I'm not one to be bothered by the views or the subscribers. If people want to watch me, they can. If they don't want to, I'm not forcing them. Like, if you want to come watch and be an absolute ass, feel free. Whilst I'm doing this, I actually decluttered this from my lip um, care declutter. And then I thought, well, maybe I'll just try it before I get rid of it. And it was a really nice lip balm, like a really nice lip balm. So I'm glad I actually kept that now. My hair... <laughs> In this light and probably still looks a bit yellow but actually it's gone down loads from when i've dyed it i've actually got a video of me dyeing my hair um that was quite a nerve-wracking video actually like i said i was still filming even though i was being a little bit like um down about the whole thing i was still filming so i have got i think i've got like eight videos to go live on my channel but i want to subside some of those for when we come home because when I come home I'm actually going to a Norwich Aldi for a little bit which is about it's about 40 minutes my boss said from where we are now and as you guys may or may not know I live right near my Aldi store so it's going to be a bit of a commute in the morning I'm gonna have to get up like if I'm on the early it's like an hour early or whatever but um it'll be good for me as well so I'm just gonna plait my hair um to get it out of my way and then I'm going to drop and drag all of my um, footage I've had from my camera and start editing my limited edition birch box because I want that one up tonight. <clears throat> I was going to do a um, trying on £5 wedding dress video as well because I thought that would be a good one for um, my wedding day. That I thought it would be a fun one to put up on my actual wedding day. We'll see.
have seen from the previous clips, I've been busy doing some iron-on stuff. Um, I've done most of the iron-on stuff myself. I've brought the products and then ironed on things myself. So firstly, I'm going to start with the one that cut out because my brother rang me. And this is my bride-to-be cap. Now, I did separate the font and put one on the top, one on the bottom. And the iron has made sort of slight creasings in the hat, but it'll be okay. It's only going to be for like half a week, isn't it? So... Yeah, I quite liked how that came out, to be honest, considering it was only like £1 odd for the iron-on font <laughs> and then £2 odd for the hat. So, I mean, hats with bride or bride-to-be on it are coming up at around 7 to £10, so I did save money in the long run. Then the next thing is our wedding day robes to get ready in. So, obviously, mine says a bride-to-be. And I got the black font because I thought that gold wouldn't quite stand out as well and um, the silver obviously wouldn't stand out. And then I've got three of my bridesmaids robes and I got the navy with the white. That is actually the colour of their robes, um, dresses anyway. Then I've got Joey a happy t-shirt for the day after the wedding and then me a wifey t-shirt slash dress slash beach cover up ready for the day after the wedding. Can you believe it's like going to be a day and then it's all over? It's mad, really. But that's what I've been up to this morning. It's half past nine and I need to get some breakfast because I'm absolutely starving. And then I might show you some other sort of wedding -y stuff if you'll be interested. And I'll see you soon. So it's 10 o'clock and my Birchbox video is all sorted. I've had breakfast. I'm going to edit one more video ready for tomorrow and then I'm going to do my dress before Joey comes home and get that all packed in the bag ready. This is like so real now, it's un it's unreal how real it is, but yeah, that's the plan of action. Okay guys, so this is my veil and this is what I've got to deal with, uh, exactly how I got it out of the bag when I bought it. Uh, the lady took it out of its packaging and laid it out flat amongst my dress so that it'd be not crinkled. Um, I don't know how well you can tell. But it is definitely crinkled anyway and the fact that it is also ruined really hasn't enhanced my experience with wed to be themselves but my mum and my sister helped me pick this veil it has these lovely sort of rhinestones on it and it just glistens quite nicely in the sun i bet so yeah just got to roll with this one and then without giving too much of the dress away i don't know when this video is going up um this is where she was pulling me into the dress and then ripped my dress so i've just got two minor alterations to do but when you pay 45 pounds for a veil and then 2.99 and then you alter your own dress uh 1.99 for this dress i think wasn't it i can't remember yeah that's 1.99 even so like, i don't care how much it costs when you buy something brand new and no discounts you expect quality which I did not get here so I now need to alter this one in I've got to get my so I reckon I'm gonna to have to get my sewing machine out for this to to create um tightness in it so it doesn't pull again on my big day let's hope it doesn't so I have just made some quick alterations to my dress nothing drastic it's just things that I thought about doing when I was altering it that day um I have just tacked only tacked like literally in about six places tacked the underline into the lace so that the lace so that the lace doesn't come apart from the underlining just realized i said that and joey might watch this video hopefully he doesn't <laughs> uh so yeah i've just done that now um i also like cleaned up the edges underneath because the photographer wants to take a photo of my dress and the way that my dress is you might see a little bit of the underneath so I just tacked all that in place I feel like just tacking those small places gives that the dress a little bit of shape even though once it's on it it's got a shape anyway I've also um, done the bit that I showed you now onto the veil and then that is my wedding outfit sorted and I just need to pop it into the bag oh my god so I've just packed my wedding dress into that case there, that little one, and the case doesn't stand up. It also hasn't managed to fit in my flowers, which again, I'm pretty annoyed about because I was hoping that I could fit all of that into one case, like my dress, my veil, my jewellery, my bag, my shoes, and my flowers, as well as the rings, which I haven't put in yet. And I'm a bit annoyed that they don't actually fit 
because it just keeps falling over. Then we've got our buttonholes for this one's for Joey, so it's got like three. And then um, best man, my dad, mm -hmm. and my brother have um, a little two flower stem buttonhole. Uh, we also have an extra one which we were going to put on the cake but we now got like a Mr and Mrs Wilson sign plus like a little um, two persons um, bride and groom thing with like beach scene on it so I think we're going to stick with that now. Um, yeah so I told Joey about the case and then we had another one but that isn't going to be ideal either so yeah. Uh, I'm going to add the little... Um, safety pins onto the flowers and I'm also on my flowers here as you can see it's got this cheapish looking um, curling ribbon and I'm going to change that into some nice lace because the bridesmaid bouquets actually have a really nice lace I might actually see if I can add a few extra leaves into my bouquet as well like green leaves so they stick out a bit more and look a bit more boho -y because I really like that vibe so I'm going to do that now. Uh, I haven't done much tidying in the sense of housework but I have been quite productive in other ways and Joey will understand when he comes home why. Even though he won't be angry anyway let's be real. <laughs> okay guys look at that how much nicer that looks. Um, The bridal bouquets as in the bridesmaid bouquets also have like a bow and then some lace hanging down so i thought i would copy it i honestly think that looks so much better and i've managed to cover all hot glue apart from that little bit under there but obviously when i'm holding it that's going to be against me anyway i also managed to shorten the handle which i'm pleased about because i thought the handle was too long and i kind of uh bent it a little bit well not this one i cut this one in the end but yeah i'm really happy with the final outcome i'm not going to bother adding any leaves because i feel like this bit these bits of lace just kind of add to it anyway hello guys so it's actually been two days since i was vlogging last joey came home and then i just got busy doing other things um i've just finished work i've just done 10 hours done 10 hours yesterday and I've just gone to collect my puzzle so yeah, I just collected my parcel from the sorting office. I'm now going home and I've got a few things to do at home this evening. So I'm going to unbox my glossy box and my look fantastic box on this vlog with you today. And then if my birch box comes in time, I will do that in like a proper video. So I'm not going to have time to do proper videos for the birch, no, the look fantastic and the glossy box. I'll just show you those in these videos. I've just picked up my look fantastic, but I'll see you soon. Okay guys, I've just been shopping. I've been to Poundland, Superdrug, Argos and somewhere else. Where else did I go? Or was that it? I don't know. I went to the bank as well to cash in a cheque for my granddad. Well, I just thought I'd show you quickly what I've got. So firstly, I got three rolls of bubble wrap just to wrap up some fragile bits for the wedding day to pack. And then I got two of these packs of bubble envelopes, one small eight pack and one medium six pack. I got some of these because I thought they might be quite cool around the pool just to pop in my hair. I really wanted this headband from Matalan but I just didn't get it. I don't really know why but I just didn't so I got those. I also got some wax strips. I don't know if I've got the confidence to use them but I will try. And I also got some of these all tied up hair bubbles. I also got a packet of these little bottles just because there is um, my purple shampoo which I would like to take a small amount of just in case and um, I feel like there was something else I wanted to take just in a small amount so I can just decant some purple shampoo into there. So I got three foot packs, two of the tea tree and peppermint. I'm going to use one of these tonight and one coconut water and I'll take two away with me. This is going to be really hard to see but it's a mustardy yellow sort of bright sunflowery colour dress with like frills on the chest area, elasticated waist and adjustable straps. I thought it was a really nice dress. It is quite thin but it's perfect for a hot country climate anyway and I paid £5 for this and I just saw it and thought do you know what I'm going to get it. If I try it on and it looks silly I'm going to return it though. Got some of this twine. Um from Poundland. So far everything I've showed you is from Poundland. This is to wrap Joey's present up with. Another thing to wrap Joey's present up with is this paper. I thought this one would be quite nice or this one, dependent. Got a pair of these Bride Tribe flip-flops because um, 
I did get a pair from Primark, but these white and gold ones would go with more of my sort of beach wear, so I thought I'd get these. A packet of batteries for um, our lights and stuff that we want to take. Some shaving cream. I only really use the shaving cream when I'm on holiday. Got this rose cold, rose cold, <laughs> it's cold, rose gold case pedicure set. Um, and the tools are actually rose gold inside, which is really nice. That's only a pound and I thought I could do with a new one to take away with me. Got a set of these medium grips because most of the time the hair bubbles, hair grips and that just stay there. Right, I've got these bikini bottoms. These are in a size 10. I think these are going to be far too big for me, but I really did really like this bikini top that it came with. Um, the bikini top was £5 and the bottoms were £3, but I'm really worried that I'm going to have to return the top, uh, the bottoms. But if I return the bottoms, then I probably will return the top because I probably won't wear it. But I just like this style and I've not tried it before. I thought it'd be nice. Okay, the last stuff are from Superdrug, so I've just got some bits for sanitary things. I try and get a bit of everything when I do stock up, so I've got tampons, pads and panty liners. We don't really need to go into those, but yeah, that's everything I got. Okay, so I picked up these. Now, I saw someone talking about these on the um, Grand Serenis page, believe it or not, and um, I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a go. Um, it is fairly expensive for what it is. So we've got the fox tan. Oh, it doesn't say which one's which, but they're both um, 120 mils. We've got the rapid mist and the rapid elixir. So the elixir you apply three to five days before you travel and then every day in the sun. These are small bottles. That's my only concern. And then the rapid mist you spray on daily before going into the sun. I've heard some really great reviews about these and I am a bit annoyed that most of the reviews I have seen are actually from people who have been sent the products. So these were, one was 13 99 one was 14 99 but I did get um, buy one get one half price. So one of them I got seven pounds off which isn't bad so I didn't mind um paying that to try <laughs> and let's hope they work because that'd be really nice if it did and then Lottie London is now not available in Superdrug so all of the Lottie London items were on sale for two pounds that's an absolute bargain so I got the Shimmer Squad palette for f for two pound which is amazing the Lottie London Soap Star Solid Brush Cleaner I actually do need to clean my brushes tonight so that's worked out quite well and I also got a lip foil in the shade over it and it's like a holographic -y shade I'm not going to take any of these on my holiday because I want to put these in a shop my stash and um try them out at home but for two pound each I thought do you know what I'm not going to leave them there so I didn't naughty me so let's take a look at my look fantastic beauty box as this did come first first glance very summery bright and happy cheery sort of box i like things like that then i do like the simple ones <laughs> so inside you get your usual look fantastic booklet sometimes on the back there is a sneak peek and there is a sneak peek the bioeffect serum worth 25 pounds next month's edition is around the world kind of a little bit late but that's fine um so that's for next month obviously this month's stuff's in there the l magazine i actually oops i actually might take this with me on the plane just for something to little flick through i do sometimes flick through it um on occasions don't really find anything in there of any interest but something to do on the plane isn't it and then we've got peach packaging today and a pink sticker let's have a little look I have had a sneak peek. I had Lady Malware sneak peek this month because I knew that I wasn't going to get around to filming these videos properly. Um, the only prices you'll get are if their prices are in the books this time around because obviously we need to whiz through this. Um, but I haven't had a sneak peek of the book glossy box. So first up we've got the Skin Chemist London Illuminating Glow Hydrogel iPads. Now, where were they? So these are worth $6.99. Hydrate and refresh your delicate skin and your eyes with this hydro hydrogel iPad enriched with ultra hydrating hyaluronic acid, powerful antioxidants. They work to lift, tone, and brighten your under eyes for a wide awake finish. Perfect for tired eyes for treating those fine lines and wrinkles around the eye area. Good start. Um, I've definitely had 
products I've been more excited about, but it's not a bad one. Then, whilst we're on this page, we also have this Avent Hyaluronic... What is it? Sorry, I can't read it properly in the book. It's too far away. So, it is the Avent Skincare 8 Hour Anti-Oxidizing and Retexturizing Hyaluronic Facial Serum worth £89. Now, this is a 30ml size. I believe it is full size and it is worth £89. I... If I'm not mistaken, though, the full size when you purchase it comes in a different packaging. That's all I can say. We discover Skin Jewful with this intensive serum that protects against external aggressors while addressing signs of ageing. This hydrating serum nourishes the skin from within and combats imperfections, leaving skin moisturised and radiant. Hyaluronic acid moisturises the skin, plumping the complexion while lip... I don't know. Acid has an antioxidant property that improves the skin texture and strengthens the skin barrier. Apply serum to damp skin after cleansing. Wait two to three minutes to allow serum to absorb before moisturising. If you have oily skin, we suggest using this in lieu of a moisturiser. I have to admit, I am yet to try the 98 pound night cream that we got in the look fantastic box earlier on in the year so i will be intrigued to try them but i think this time i can now use them in conjunction with each other and i might get better results i've heard very very good things though i just haven't got around to it myself i must say i'm using up smaller minis first before i go on to the bigger items and that is one of the bigger items having said that the one minus four one seven facial cream that i got out of that box or facial wash shall we say i've been using that in the shower <laughs> that's probably one of the biggest face washes i own but i think it's because i knew i was traveling and i didn't have that many if that makes sense Okay, so next up in the box, we have this My Tan 3-in-1 Gradual Tan Lotion worth $5.99. Gives the skin a gorgeous glow with this gradient lotion, tanning lotion, sorry. A gentle and non-sticky formula, this lotion builds up natural-looking glowy colour. Rich in natural-derived tanning agents, multivitamins and aloe vera, the self-tan moisturises, extends the length of tan and soothes dry skin. Apply to freshly cleansed skin skin use sparingly around knuckles knees ankles and elbows and if you have paler skin you are a, or a fake tan novice mix this with your daily moisturizer for a subtle glow so it's 30 mil definitely wouldn't get a full body's application out of this but it'd be you could definitely do like your arms neck and torso maybe so next here we've got another polar product I've actually packed a polar product with me in my um, travel bag and this is the Northern Light Cream. Reveal a radiant and flawless complexion with Polar's Northern Light Soothing Cream. Harnessing the powers of Siberian olive tree, a shrub rich in 108 bioactive elements and a high properties. Ah, I skipped a line. And a high concentration of vitamin C, this cream offers antioxidant properties, helping to protect the skin from the impact of pollution combine, combined with 100% natural polar berries extract. The creamy fruit formula boosts radiance and encourage the regeneration of cells. Apply to clean skin after cleansing. This cream is suitable for day cream, for normal to dry skin, but if your complexion is combination we suggest to use this as a night time moisturizer sorry i don't know if i mentioned but this is worth 17 pound 50 so quite a high value box this month so far next up we've got the weller professional invigo nutri enriched deep nourishing mask Breathe life into dry and damaged locks with this ultra-nourishing formula that gives a new lease of life. Enriched with Weller's Nutri-Enriched Blend Complex, this deep conditioning mask contains vitamin E to hydrate each individual strand. A city living essential, this mask protects hair from further stress and frizz, ensuring that hair is revitalised and vibrant. After shampooing, massage into the lengths of hair and leave for 5 minutes. Suitable for all hair types if you have dry or damaged hair. Leave in for up to an hour for a really intense repair. 
I do like a good hair mask every now and then, and this one does have Joe Joy Berry. <laughs> If that's how you say it, probably not. Everyone's probably screaming at me in the comments, but hey-ho. Last up this month, we do have a makeup item by the brand Mellow. Never heard of this brand before, but this is in the shade Aria. Now, you guys and girls know if you've been watching me for a while, I am finally watching Pretty Little Lies. So instantly, I was amazed by the name Aria. Anyway, this is like a pinky nude shade. I'm not going to get it out today or try it out today because I don't really have time for that, unfortunately. But I wanted to share with you what I had. So define your lips with this soft, natural gel, nude gel lip pencil with a formula that glides effortlessly onto the lips. This long-wearing lip liner delivers a rich, matte finish and on-the-go essential that provides a transfer proof creamy base for your lipstick use use to trace lips and then fill in for an all over finish for less defined finish fill in the lips and buff using a brush so that was the contents oh no it wasn't i've missed one there we are that was the contents of this month's look fantastic box i'm quite happy with it personally i don't know if it's because i'm traveling and these are nice miniatures i know that i have actually packed my bag but i do sometimes get inspired by those sorts of things i really like the lip liner and next month i'm having a really intense declutter like a massive big proper declutter so um i can see those sort of nice more luxury things staying and more affordable brands potentially going i know i have just hauled a couple of things from lottie london but i am able to try those without feeling guilty as i've said in previous videos before so yeah really really happy Moving swiftly on to the glossy box, I haven't seen any sneak peeks for this one, so let's just dive straight in. Can the lid come off? I'm glad that it's back to its normal pink packaging. Then I don't feel as guilty about recycling these packages. I don't very often use the boxes anymore, so it just seems a bit silly to use them. No way, have we actually got the same product in here? Oh no, that's a sneak peek, so we're actually getting that next month oh it's slightly different but it's worth 85 pound oh that's pretty good okay then oh it's a little booklet this month okay so oh that's what's inside let's not have a look just yet right okay what's this flawless barry m chisel treats okay Right, Dio. Okay, let's just dig in and see what we got. I'm going to pull this one out first because it's obviously the first thing I saw. I have to admit, when I saw the sneak peek last month, I'm glad I got this one because I have already tried the other one that they were advertising and I really did not like it. So this is the Barry M Cosmetics Chisel Cheeks Contour Cream Kit. Oh, that's where it's all gone wrong. <laughs> This is worth a $7.99, which is a good start to the box anyway. Con contouring as a beauty trend is nothing new, but it's time to put 2019 spin on it. Forget the overly sculpted look this year. It's all about the subtle definition. This where your chisel cheeks contour kit comes in. Apply a darker shade to your cheekbones, jawline and hairline, then seamlessly blend it with a lighter shade to smooth out the look and subtly define your features let's have a look then i'm not going to touch it because well i'm going away for two weeks anyway and i want to see if i use this without swatching it because if i don't then i can obviously sell it for for brand new sort of thing i might give it a go you never know there's some nice sort of concealer -y shades in there too which would be quite nice and that's just it on the back sort of gives you a bit more explanation so this is the next thing that's intriguing me. What is this? Shake and shot. Is that like an extra thing? Is it by a brand that I don't know about? Dr. Jart. Okay, Dr. Jart. Say so shake and shot rubber hydro mask or shake and shot rubber firming mask. Which one did I get? Rubber hydro mask. Is this a face mask? Wait, right, okay. When it comes to high-performance skincare innovations, Dr. Jart is king. They've created the latest trend in masking, a shaking rubber face mask. Shake and shot rubber mask is fun. D 
DIY rubbery modeling mask that nourishes your skin with high potency active ingredients, leaving you with a healthy and dewy looking complexion. Better yet, it's an innovative, innovative cream to sheet formula penetrates deep into the skin more than traditional sheet masks, nourishing your skin quickly and effectively. This is available from ASOS.com and it's worth £8. Look at the face, that looks really creepy. Now let's have a look inside. So this must be a fun spin on face masks because I'm presuming that you make these masks. I definitely would love to do a review on this, like 100%. That would be so, so fun to do. <laughs> Creepy face though. Okay, so we've got three items left. The next one that's taking my eye is this one. So this is the Beauty Kitchen Naturaline. Get it? Not Vaseline. Naturaline. 100% natural and 0% petroleum natural lip treatment. This is worth two ninety nine, so not the greatest amount, but I mean, it's a Vaseline. What more would you expect? It's obviously not a Vaseline. 2019 is about sustainable beauty. Beauty Kitchen have created this one 0% petroleum sustainable lip treatment that is more effective and less greasy than petroleum jelly alternatives. Made with 100% natural ingredients, this balm moisturises and protects your lips for up to 8 hours, keeping them soft, beautiful and healthy. Better yet, the packaging is 100% recyclable and made from recycled tin plate. Good for the environment and great for your lips. Yeah. Okay, you guys know how I feel about these sorts of products where you have to pop your finger in. Um, But I do usually have the odd Vaseline kicking about because it comes in handy. So where I would usually pass these type of products on, I am actually going to keep this just for like more of a comparison thing rather than actually I would really love to try this product. Okay, next up we have a nail polish. This looks very similar to a nail polish that I did receive in my Birchbox um, Rock My Wedding box actually. This is by a brand called Nailberry and it's called Love Me Tender Nail Polish. I think this one is a slight tad darker um focus <laughs> love me tender there we are i mean it's a lovely shade but i feel like i might have that already so this is worth is it a full size yeah it's a full size and it's worth 14 50. everything was actually full size today which is nice Meet the next generation of state-of-art nail polish. Part of Nailberry's revolutionary oxygen range, this multi-award-winning nail polish uses painted technology to deliver healthy manicure without compromising on colour quality. Covers your nail with a unique film which allows air and water to pass through it, ensuring that the cuticles are protected even while wearing nail polish, you're going to look so la mood. Okay. I mean, it's not the most exciting product I've ever received, but I am going to be doing a nail polish declutter soon. So at least I'll have some nice brands to sort of keep whilst decluttering some at the same time, maybe. And I'm more into like the nudie shades, especially for my toes. So it will come in handy. It's quite a nice sleek packaging as well. Okay, so the last item is also full size and this is worth £43. That is a crazy amount of money for a aftermask vitamin serum. This serum is at the forefront of an up-and-coming beauty trend. The first skin product in the world specially designed to be used after a face mask. It nourishes your complexion with vitamins and your skin will be craving after an intense clay, charcoal sheet or peel off mask treatment. Simply apply a thin layer to your face after removing your mask and you'll have a soft, smooth skin. Do you know, that's quite a nice idea actually. I don't have anything like this in my collection. It's definitely something I'm willing to try and it's a what? Um, it's a 30ml size which 
considering you only have to put a thin layer on it would last a very long time i think that along with the shake and shot are the products i'm most excited about and actually they're products that you can use in conjunction with each other as you guys know i'm literally going on holiday in like a few days but when i come home hopefully i can try out some of these items for you now this this um box was called trending beauty kind of makes sense now as i've looked through the products oh isn't she gorgeous and the golden tickets are back did i win a golden ticket no i didn't sorry no can do this time <laughs> So considering that this box is a treat from me, no, it's not from me, from Joey to me for my birthday last year, I've been really enjoying it on the whole. I think there was a couple months it was a bit meh, but overall I quite enjoy trying the products out. Um, I might be making some changes to the way I do my unboxings, but I really don't know until I get married. To be quite honest, I'm just enjoying how my channel's going at the moment in terms of people are watching who want to watch, whether I've got 7,000 subscribers or 700 people are watching because they want to watch and that's the main priority i don't want people watching just for the sake of it to be quite honest with you i know i get a couple of those but it's it is what it is <laughs> so yeah i'll let you see my ugly mug for a minute um i'm gonna actually go and do myself some dinner jump in the shower do a foot mask and then paint my toenails ready for my holiday i'm going in two days but i do like to have my nails done especially my toenails done ready to go double chin um and then there is it i've got to do a bit more like put them stuff in i just bought for the holiday into the bag i also got some sun cream from aldi i've heard it's actually a really good sun cream so i thought i would try that out this time and it's really affordable at like between 1.99 and 2.99 i got the 2.99 one i think it's because i thought it was maybe gonna have tannin purposes in it but obviously i've got that tan fox now which i'm really intrigued to try it might actually sort of do some kind of vlog on it in my in the middle of my holidays just show you these sort of before and after shots and stuff just to why not sort of thing so yeah i'm gonna pop my glossy box and look fantastic items away i was hoping that my birch box was going to be here before we go but i don't think it is which means it's a shame because it's actually my last one before i have to decide it if I want to renew or not and I would like to renew like especially the birch box that was my OG box I think if I'm going to renew any it's going to be the birch box and the glossy box but I mean come Christmas time I might want to renew the look fantastic and I've got to wait until Christmas anyway so I might end up doing that but I might put myself on the monthly rolling contract so I can decide to cancel at any time because I've been a couple of boxes I've not been too keen on um, and at least that way I can just cancel out if I want to but with the birch box I'll probably do the one year sign up fee because I like the fact that the money doesn't come out of my bank every single month and it's just paid for sort of thing if that makes sense so yeah uh, I feel like I'm like an OG subscriber to birch box now and I, I I was really tempted to cancel that one but as the months have gone on it's been quite good so if this month is good I probably will keep it if not I might leave it for a couple months and then re-sign up but I'll let you know when I get that box but I'm not sure if it's going to come before the wedding which will be a shame but we'll see what happens anyway I think I'm going to leave the vlog here for today because I think it's going to be quite a long one anyway and I don't want to bore you guys too much I think this will probably go up on Sunday whilst I'm on my holiday um if i'm not mistaken it'll be because it's wednesday now thursday friday saturday will be the skincare hair care and makeup that i'm taking and then this will be the sunday vlog which gives me then enough time to decide how i want to upload the vlogs for the holiday because i would have been on holiday for two days and then either the vlogs will start or i will upload some that are already on my channel and then upload the vlogs after i can't decide yet but i'm sure you'll figure it out when a video comes live available to you yeah so thanks for watching if you did enjoy give me a thumbs up and i'll see you all in the next one bye